you know, obviously doing a, a, a great job doing so. Uh, but can you talk a little bit about what that is like uh, just as a coach and, and the processes that you go through during the week? And then I'll have a follow for you after. Yeah, um, I tell you what, um, those guys have come in and done a really good job of meeting extra. Obviously, you know, just with the amount of stuff that we do, um, you know, it's hard for a young guy to come in and, and, and grasp everything. So I thought Coach D has done a really good job of just getting with me and me understanding exactly what they can do and what they can run and what they're comfortable doing. Um, but they're doing a good job. Um, obviously, it's not what we want it to be. Um, but they're doing a good job of getting there, and, and they'll continue to get better the more opportunities that they get. Those guys played a bunch of snaps in the ball game last weekend, and um, we're excited about those guys, and they just got to continue to keep coming, and, and, and we got to get better at some different things. You know, coming out of the middle of the field, um, a couple of times we didn't do it how we supposed to do it, and, and we'll get better as the time coach. And can you also talk a little bit about the evolution of James Williams? I mean, James has never made it a secret. Uh, he wants to be a, a free safety. He envisions himself as a safety. Um, but it'd be hard not to notice that you guys are dropping him down into the box uh, with regularity now. Uh, and he's doing exceptionally well there, getting after the quarterback and things like that. Uh, talk a little bit about just how he's evolved as a player over the course of this year and where you see things going with him moving forward. Yeah, James, James is a very intelligent guy. Um, he, he's able to grasp a lot of concepts and very quick. He see a lot. You know, it's crazy sometimes the things that he see on the field. You know, when he come to the sideline, he's able to communicate, hey, coach, this is what I saw. This is why I did what I did. This is why I was going on the blitz and whatever, the guard block down, however that goes. But, you know, he'll continue to play safety on third downs. He goes down in the box and, and we can utilize his pass rush and the different things he's able to do. But he, he got a tremendous feel for the game. Um, he's a guy that's going to continue to get better with the more reps that he continue to get. Is some things that he definitely need to work on, pad level and different things like that, being a big guy. But um, he's, a, he's a talented young man, and, and more so than the athletic ability, I think it's more in between the ears with him. Coach, we'll go next to Barry Jackson from the Miami Herald. Barry, go ahead for Coach Robinson. Hi, Coach. Uh, what's impressed you about Marcus Clark that's allowed him to earn more playing time, and what skills stand out to you about him? You know, well, he's really good in man-to-man. -man. He really has good ball skills. I tease him all the time. The opportunity he got against the Virginia game, he probably got some of the best ball skills on our football team, and he went out there, he dropped the ball, which is kind of crazy. But, you know, he, he has been working hard. Um, one thing that I would say, when it went going his way early, you never seen him down on himself. You never seen him, you know, pouting. He, he kept a positive attitude, which was really good. And now he has an opportunity to go out and play and, and earn more playing time. But he's doing a really good job. He got to continue to work on the physicality, playing on the edges and the different things like that that come with the, with the game. But he, he is a talented young player who will continue to get better the more reps he get. Um, but he's doing a, a really good job with the reps that he is getting now. Thanks. Coach, we'll go next to Manny Navarro from The Athletic. Manny, go ahead. Hey, T. Rob, you, you're so involved in the recruiting process. I got to ask you just, you know, from, from – from being able to keep players around with the transfer portal now, obviously, we, you know, Coach told us Bradley Jennings and Gervin Hall left. Um, you know, just just a balance, man, of trying to keep guys happy with playing time and and then at the same time trying to win games. Uh, how, how much – how different has it just changed maybe in the last couple of years, you know, being yeah, in that fight? Yeah, it's definitely changed, Manny. But, you know, at the end of the day, like, we're going to play the best guys. And, and that's just what it is, guys who's, who's going out and producing and playing. And um, I think we can't really worry about that at this point. We got to continue to coach the guys that's here. Um, wish those guys well, love those guys to death. And, you know, it's just sometimes things just happen the way it happens. But, you know, as far as the transport portal and all that kind of stuff, the guys that's here, we're going to coach those guys and then we'll worry about that later. But, you know, we, those guys been 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 doing well and I, and I appreciate those guys. And we got to continue to roll. Coach, we'll go next to David Wilson from the Miami Herald. David, go ahead. Hey, up. I, I kind of follow up on recruiting stuff there. Obviously, uh, you know, it can kind of be such like a fickle business, right? Where you, when things are going well, things are going well. When things aren't going well, they aren't going well. Just talk, you're obviously talking to a lot of kids and out at games and stuff like that, and talking mm -hmm. to coaches. Just have, have you kind of felt a, a change over the last couple of weeks? You know, obviously two and four, everyone's negative recruiting against you, stuff like that. Now five and four, you know, things looking better. Just, have you kind of noticed a change? I know. Obviously, you haven't got a commitments or anything like that lately, but just have you felt a change? I'm going to be honest. Um, I kind of keep my head down, and I just kind of continue to go about my business. 
and, and recruit the same way, whether we win the game, lose the game, or anything like that. I, I kind of do it the way I've been doing it. And um, so I hadn't really saw a change in, in, in the kids. I mean, we communicate with those guys all the time. They communicate back with us all the time. And, and we kind of figure it out as we go. So no, to your, to, your, to your point, no, I hadn't seen a change with that. But I'm sure, you know, with, with kids, you know, that, that's a little more exciting to come to a team that's playing better. Um, so we got to continue to do that. And, and that's how we sell our program by winning and putting good product on the field. And um, that's what we're going to continue to work at and continue to do. And then, you know, I feel like we've all kind of gotten a pretty good sense of what Cam and, and James bring to the table. Obviously, we're still learning a little bit more about Abate. Obviously, had an incredible interception on Saturday. But what, what, what does he kind of bring to that group? It, it seems like Cam and, and James in particular complement each other really well. What does Avante maybe long term kind of bring to that trio uh, kind of different? Yeah, well, I'm figuring it out, too. So just like you figuring it out, I am also. But, you know, one thing about Avante, we all know he's physical. Um, he'll tackle. Um, that, that, that's not an issue with him. Um, he, he does a really good job with that. Just, just some of the detailed stuff of playing the position, the pad level, you know, understanding exactly what we're trying to get done. Um, he's doing a really good job of coming in, meeting extra with everybody, trying to put himself in the best position to play his best. Um, so I've been very pleased with Avante, um, very pleased with, with all those guys, to be honest. Those guys are doing a really good job. And, you know, they, they're, they're guys who don't think they got it. You know, and that's the one thing that, that, that you get into when you're playing young players. You know, because, you know, the media, the, 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 the social media, the, the everybody pats him on the back and tell him all the good plays. But I try to identify the, the, the negative plays and say, OK, do you want me to put that on your Twitter? Do you want me to send that to the media and let those put those plays out? You know, so I mess with those guys uh, about that kind of stuff all the time. And they think I'm joking. But one day I'm actually put it on my Twitter and just put some of their bad practice plays and let everybody see that and see the comments. <laughs> Actually, but just no. one more on, on that trio. Do you like kind of, I know as freshmen, you're not going to have them all on the field a lot, ideally, right, together at the same time. But do you kind of salivate long-term thinking about ways to get all three of them on the field at the same time? I mean, they were on the field together 27 snaps um, this last ball game, um, you know, and, and on third down issues. So, you know, those guys are going to continue to play. And, and, and the ones that's playing the best, they'll continue to play. And, and the ones that's not, they won't play. And, you know, those guys understand that and, and they're competing against each other. So I think that's the best thing. They're good friends. And but at the end of the day, you know, they want to outplay each other. They want to be on the field along with each other. I mean, that's just how it goes in competition. So I thought they're doing a really good job with that. We just got to continue to just get them better and, and get them more comfortable with everything. So, you know, we can be more multiple in what we're doing. Coach, last question we got for you is from David Lake from 24-7. David, go ahead. Hey, Coach, just want to ask you about Florida State and their passing attack. Uh, seems like they spread the ball around a lot to different receivers and even the running backs, just the challenge they, they posed to you guys this week. Yeah, you know, when you turn on tape, you know, and I hadn't seen Florida State in a long time, um, but when you turn on the tape, they're very athletic outside. Um, those guys ain't got a ton of catches. You know, they kind of get the ball to everybody spread around pretty good through the tight ends and the running backs. I think they're the leading receivers. Um, but those guys, they, they do a really good job um, of what they're trying to do. Um, seem like they understand the system well, the players do. They have some man beaters. They have some zone beaters. They have some different things that we must get prepared for, you know, different kind of bunches and different kind of stacks and all the different kind of difficulties and man-to-man -man that, 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 that what they do presents. But, you know, we'll, we'll get a good plan together and, and get on with our guys and, and we'll execute the plan. And, and those guys understand what we need to stop, what we need to defend, and then how we need to defend it. And um, but you know they they really are doing a good job. They have some talented guys. The quarterback can really run. He got really good legs. And um, we got to do a great job of, of staying in man coverage when we're in man. And then in deep in zones, we need we need to stay in the deep part of the field a little better than we have. You know when the quarterback getting the scramble because this guy's going to get out a little bit, and, and we got to be patient with that. 